medical school personal statement examples that got accepted to multiple schools. Hey, BMO Nation, this is Dr. Beruz Momeni. I'm the CEO and founder here at BMO. In case you've never watched any of these episodes, this is the One Question Podcast. Whether you're watching this or listening to this, the way it works is very simple. Every week, we discuss a very hot topic in medical school admissions, and we have only 10 minutes to give you our best tips, the same tips we use with our own students. I have absolutely nothing to sell you. It's pure content, but I have to tell you, there is absolutely no fancy music, no fancy videos, no fancy side effects, just pure content. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start my timer, I'm gonna show you, and I have only 10 minutes to give you our best tips. So with that said, let's get going. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen so I can uh, share some really, uh, excellent medical school personal assessment examples and also tell you why they're so good and why these were able to secure multiple acceptances. So you could do the same using your own unique personal experiences and learn from these examples. So with that said, let's get going. All right. So now let me share my screen with you. So here we go. And first, let's step back a little bit. And I want to tell you how you could make your medical school personal statement stand out to begin with. Well, first of all, you got to follow the instructions. That's uh, pretty standard, of course. Whatever I say here, it doesn't matter if it's not the same as what uh, the instructions are telling you you have to do. So, of course, follow the instructions. Your personal statement, secondly, has to be personal and include personal experiences as evidence that you have the qualities medical schools are looking for. That's really key and it's a, uh, normally it's a common mistake. Must have excellent structures, flow, grammar, and spelling. That's obvious. Must leave the reader wanting more. Once they read your personal statement and they only have a few uh, minutes, they wanna actually speak to you. So be invited for an interview or get to the next stage of the admissions process. It must be of course original, we can't copy. Uh, even though I'm gonna show you some medical school personal statement examples, Make sure, again, you don't copy it, obviously. And it, and it has to be based on your own unique experiences. Otherwise, it doesn't even sound authentic. It has to answer any questions they're asking. If this is a question that's not a standard medical school personal statement, and rather they're asking you a specific question, make sure you answer those questions. And you, you have to make sure it has a captivating opening and closing sentences. And in fact, captivating uh, intro and conclusion. That goes back to two very important psychological uh, phenomena that are uh, called the, the primacy and recency effect. The primacy effect says that humans are best able to retain material that were presented to them first in a body of knowledge. So the introduction or the introductory sentence has to be absolutely fantastic. The second uh, concept is the recency effect. Again, humans are better able to remember things that has been presented to them last in a given piece of information because of its recency. Uh, and that's also why it's important to make sure that the conclusion and the final sentence are also very good. So what are some ideas you could include in your personal statement? You have to explain why you've selected the field of medicine, what motivates you to learn more, why do you want to go uh, to medical school? Uh, and you know, if you have had any sort of special hardships, challenges, obstacles that might, might have influenced your educational pursuits and your decision to pursue medicine, any com uh, commentary on significant fluctuations in your academic records or anything else. Um, you, know, you could go as far as where you were born, how you grew up, what type of childhood you had. And again, you have to be very strategic you have to tell your own unique story. And it does take a little bit of a, uh, time to figure out what your unique story is. And uh, the idea is once you figure that out, you have to stick to you know, maximum one, two uh, concepts or stories that you wanna tell and then make that personal statement. And the other thing that I have to say for the first draft or in general, uh, this is a test of your written communication skills, obviously. So, and you have 10 seconds. Uh, obviously, I'm exaggerating here, but literally only a few seconds because most medical schools get thousands of applications. So you have a few minutes to grab their attention. Uh, and this is why it has to have 
absolutely excellent structure and flow. We talked about introduction, why it's important, the body, less is more, one to three concepts maximum, one is even the best. Conclusion, again, recency effect, it has to convey your sense of maturity, professionalism, and demonstrate your motivation to pursue medicine. And it's good to have some time of uh, events if you're uh, creating a story that you wanna have a beginning and end. Don't necessarily have to do that, but that's something you could take advantage of if that's the type of a uh, personal statement you're writing about. And some things you should not do before I jump into that medical school personal statement examples, don't try to use any fancy words or repeat what's already in your application. All right, so let's jump right into it. Here's an example. I made my way to Hillary's house after learning about her alcoholic father's incarceration. Seeing her tearfulness and uh, being at a loss for words, I took her hand and held it, hoping to make things more bearable. She squeezed back gently in reply, thank you. My silent gesture seemed to confer a soundless message of comfort, encouragement, and support. What a fantastic introduction, very captivating. I'm gonna keep going. Through mentoring, I have developed meaningful relationships with individuals of all ages, in, including seven-year-old Hillary. Many of my mentees come from disadvantaged backgrounds. Working with them has challenged me to become more understanding and compassionate. Although Hillary was not able to control her father's alcoholism and I had no immediate solution to her problems, I felt truly fortunate to be able to comfort her with my presence. Though not always tangible, my small victories, such as the support I offered Hillary, uh, hold great personal meaning. Similarly, medicine encompasses more than an understanding of tangible entities, such as the science of disease and treatment. To be an excellent physician requires empathy, dedication, curiosity, and love of problem solving. These are skills I've developed through my experiences, both teaching and shadowing inspire, inspiring physicians. Medicine uh, encompasses more than heart sciences. My experiences as a teaching assistant nurtured my passion for medicine. I found that helping students required more than knowledge of organic chemistry. Rather, I was only able to address their difficulties when I sought out their underlying fears and feelings. One student, Azra, struggled despite regularly attending office hours. She approached me asking for help. As we worked together, I noticed that her frustration stemmed from how intimidated she was by problems. I helped her by listening to her as a fellow student and normalizing her struggles. I remember doing badly on my first organic chemistry test despite studying really hard. I said to Asra, while working on a problem, really you are a TA, shouldn't, shouldn't you be perfect? I looked up and explained that I had improved my grades through hard work. I could tell she instantly felt more hopeful. She said, if you, do, you could do it, then I can do it too. When she passed receiving B plus, I felt as if I had passed too. That B plus meant so much. It was a tangible result of Azra's hard work, but it was also a symbol of our dedication to one another and the bond we forged working together. Now, uh, this again, you see all the qualities that we talked about that are being talked about during this and explains the motivation. So I'm gonna go a little bit, uh, faster through this uh, second part so that we could uh, go through the whole personal statement together. But here's the next paragraph. My passion for teaching others and sharing knowledge animates from my curiosity and love uh, for learning. My shadowing experiences have simulated my curiosity and uh, desire to learn more about the world around me. How does platelet-rich plasma simulate tissue growth? How does diabetes affect the proximal convoluted tubule? My questions never stopped. I wanted to know everything. And it, and it felt very satisfying to apply my knowledge to critical uh, clinical problems. Shining physicians further taught me that medicine not only fuels my curiosity, it also challenges my problem solving skills. I enjoy the connections found in medicine, how things uh, learned in one area can aid in coming up with a solution in another. another. For instance, while shining Dr. Steele, I was asked what causes uh, varicose veins and what are the complications? I thought to myself, uh, what could it be? I knew that veins have valves and took back uh, and, and thought back to my shadowing experience with Dr. Smith in the operating room. She had amputated the patient's foot due to ulcers obstructing the venous circulation. I, I replied, veins have valves and valve problems could cause, could lead to ulcers. 
Dr. Steele smiled, you're right, but it doesn't end there. Medicine is not disconnected. It is not about interventional cardiology or orthopedic surgery. In fact, medicine is intertwined, collaborative, and the ability to gather knowledge for many specialties and put seemingly the same concept together to form a coherent picture truly attracts me to medicine. Again, another indication of why this individual was attracted and their motivation. It is hard to separate science from medicine. In fact, medicine is science. However, medicine is also about people, their feelings, struggles, concerns. Humans are not pre-programmed robots that all face the same problems. Human, humans deserve sensitive and understanding physicians. Humans deserve doctors who are in infinitely curious, constantly questioning new advents in medicine. They deserve someone who loves the challenge of problem solving and coming up with innovative individual solutions. I want to be that physician. I want to be able to approach each case as a unique entity and incorporate my strength uh, into providing personalized care for my patients. Until that time, I may be found Friday mornings in the operating room, peering over shoulders, uh, daydreaming about the day I get to hold the drill. So this was also a fantastic ending, as I mentioned. This individual included everything we talked about. Now, what I recommend for you to do is, first of all, if you want additional medical school personal statement examples, you could go to our blog. So you could go to bmo.blog and you'll find uh, examples, or you could just Google medical school personal statement examples BMO and you'll find 20 or 30 additional examples for you to review. But more importantly, go back in this video Remember the tips I give you about different sections of uh, the medical school personal statement examples and see how this particular one that we just went through together had all those excellent qualities. And this is why this individual was able to secure not one, not two, but six acceptances because it was such a fantastic medical school personal statement example. Of course, there was other elements as well, but this definitely helped. Now, that was it for me. Hopefully I was uh, able to give you some uh, tips that you could use today for your own medical school personal assignment example, uh, and eventually uh, drafting your final draft. Uh, and I hope that you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, go ahead and share it with a friend who may uh, find this valuable as well. Give it a like. Most importantly, if you have any sort of questions, include it in the comment section and we'll be more than happy to answer them all. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon again.